Presented by Listen Headlines. Latest financial news from trusted sources. February 18, 1900 America New York, will prediction markets live up to the hype? Their mainstream appeal remains uncertain. February 18, 1900 America New York, a new history of sanctions has unsettling lessons for today. Sometimes they create the problem they are trying to solve. February 18, 1900 America New York, are financial crossbreeds monstrosities or labradoodles? Crypto Spock fusions shed light on the question. February 18, 1900 America New York, Citigroup is disposing of its international retail network. The sale marks the end of a remarkable experiment in global finance. February 17, 1918 America New York, Private Blog, Dow into the ECM. Private Blog, Dow into the ECM Private Blog posts are exclusively available to Socrates subscribers. To sign up for Socrates or to learn more, please visit ask-socrates.com. February 17, 1912 America New York, I love talking to people about where the food comes from. Farmer Deborah Damon explains what it's really like working at the crack of dawn daily for 20 years. February 17, 1903 America New York, hybrid working here to stay, managers say. The pandemic has made hybrid working the new norm for some firms, a survey suggests. February 17, 1903 America New York, Storm Eunice, how do I claim for damage? With red weather warnings issued, how can homeowners claim for the damage left behind? February 17, 1900 America New York, NZD, USDI's RBNZ next week as prices rise for third week on easing FOMC bets. NZD, USD is set to finish higher for the third week after easing FOMC bets dragged the US dollar lower overnight. The RBNZ is set to deliver a 25 basis point hike next week. February 17, 1834 America New York, Air Asia boss calls on governments to be brave and open borders. Tony Fernandez was speaking at the Singapore Air Show, which returned after two years of travel restrictions. February 17, 1809 America New York, labor groups urge Justice Department to ramp up prosecutions of unruly passengers. A letter to Attorney General Merrick Garland cited an upswing in violent behavior against airline and airport workers. LaGuardia Airport in New York. Sarah Nelson, the president of the Association of Flight Attendants CWA, said Tuesday, We've been punched, kicked, spit on and sexually assaulted. February 17, 1800 America New York, USD, JPYI's monthly low after failing to clear 2022 opening range. USD, JPY may continue to give back the advance from the monthly low, 114.15, amid the failed attempt to clear the opening range for 2022. February 17, 1730 America New York, will adults need a fourth dose of COVID vaccine? It's too soon to know. A Food and Drug Administration official said the best time for an additional shot may be fall when the spread of the coronavirus is expected to pick up again a nurse preparing a COVID-19 vaccine booster. February 17, 1719 America New York, regulators widen Activision Blizzard probes over workplace issues. The SEC subpoenas more current and former executives and a California agency seeks additional information on CEO Bobby Kotick and board's handling of workplace misconduct allegations as the video game giant works to complete a planned $75 billion sale to Microsoft. February 17, 1710 America New York, Google invests in skills training program for low-income workers. The project is a big bet on scaling up programs that have proved effective in lifting low-income workers into middle-class jobs and careers. Year Up students worked on assignment in Boston in 2019. February 17, 1704 America New York, stocks tumble as tensions rise over Ukraine. The falls came as the U.S. accused Russia of preparing fabrications to justify an invasion. February 17. 1648 America New York, first FT. Biden says Russia set to invade Ukraine within days. Biden warns, very high risk of attack. Trump must testify in New York probe and Elon Musk accuses SEC of harassment. February 17, 
1647 America New York, are your views Canadian government approved? Canada quickly turns totalitarian and at least Evan Solomon had the decency to challenge one of Canada's leading totalitarians. Take a look at this interview of Canada's Attorney General and Justice Minister David Lametti by a CTV reporter named Evan Solomon. February 17, 1630 America New York, S and AMP. P-500 tanks as rising tensions between Russia and AMP. Ukraine spark flight to safety. Geopolitical tensions and monetary policy jitters have weighed on sentiment in recent days, fueling market volatility and creating an unfavorable trading environment for the S and AMP, P-500. February 17, 1621 America New York, sell-off of stocks continues as Ukraine adds to investors' worries. The broad nature of Thursday's decline pointed to more than one reason. Oil prices and yields on government bonds also fell. February 17, 1605 America New York, Martin Tolchin, former Times reporter and a founder of The Hill, dies at 93. He covered Congress for The Times in the 1970s and 80s before leaving to head up a successful Capitol Hill newspaper. February 17, 1600 America New York, Google invests in skills training program for low-income workers. The project is a big bet on scaling up programs that have proved effective in lifting low-income workers into middle-class jobs and careers. Year Up students worked on assignment in Boston in 2019. February 17, 1556 America New York, the pessimists were correct about COVID. In a recent post, David Henderson contrasts the views of Neil Ferguson and Jay Bhattacharya. The first was Tyler's praise early in the pandemic of expert modeler Neil Ferguson, and his related action, with his Emergent Ventures project, of sending a large check to Ferguson and Ferguson's Imperial College team. February 17, 1549 America New York, could wages and prices spiral upward in America? A labor shortage that began as businesses reopened from pandemic lockdowns is helping to push up pay. The Fed is watching carefully. Pay for restaurant servers and hotel workers began to increase sharply in 2021 as companies struggled to hire back quickly after pandemic lockdowns. February 17, 1543 America New York, Allian says legal bill for investment fund losses may top $4 billion. The German financial company faces probes and lawsuits from investors over losses from options bets.